So welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 build or renovation video today And so today is the day that I finally do one of these because I haven't done one in a long time And now that I did one I felt so refreshed and rejuvenated It felt like oh I want to do more of these so I might do more of them in the future But hopefully you guys will enjoy this one because I'm using it for my cats and dogs Let's play and it's for Nate and Nia's grandparents So this is their grandparents house and I honestly I am not even kidding. I love this family so much. That I put so much detail into their backstory, and I like. It's, I'm not even on the on the on the crisp of like actually finishing everything that I need to do. Like I have so much like mini projects and builds that I have to finish for the series just to make it all work together and just to make sense. And so that's what I'm basically doing. I'm building and creating characters and just adding new lots and just adding new random like random place that they can go to every every day on like on their day-to-day -day lives but also trying to incorporate the storyline with it and it's so much fun to do because I just love storytelling so much that I like I want to write a book so badly which I'm going to do one day but hopefully this will current will turn out real well and really great for you guys to you know watch and have fun with even though this only I think this only about I think two parts out already for cats and dogs for my let's play because I'm putting so much work into it that I wanted to make sure that I didn't rush it and I feel like whenever I do series I always tend to rush things but for this series I don't or this series and series to, to come when I have storylines I don't want to rush them because it's better to, to start with start off things slow and kind of start off with the storyline kind of carry out as it goes but also continue to play with what the whole thing's all about. In this case, cats and dogs, I'm going to be incorporating cats and dogs with my let's play. Like, you know, um, Savannah, she's in the vet career or vet profession. I'm incorporating that with the storyline and also some other things as well. And so I'm just pretty proud of this one. I'm really, really proud of this series because I've worked on it for months and I'm like, I was happy about it. And it's just getting better and better every single day. Every time I start to like, you know, build a new lot or add a new character or just add just random things that I think that's exciting to make it more interesting and more involved. And I, I don't know, I could just talk for days on this one topic about my series, but I don't want to spoil anything. Hint, hint, oh, you know, let me give you a little spoiler here. <laughs> yeah, there's three words. Um, No, yeah, yeah, three words. Jail, courthouse, and um, uh, Lorenzo. Yeah, um, yeah. So you know that will come out in the sooner or later date. So jail, courthouse, Loren Loren Lorenzo, and those are the three things that I want to tell you for a spoiler that are going to come out in the next couple of episodes of the Cats and Dogs. I probably should have named it a different thing, but you know, <laughs> I am not creative with titles, especially for this build. I have no idea what I'm gonna name this house, even though I might just, you know, call it the same exact, you know, lot name that's on, you know, this this lot thing. I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna call it. It's a boathouse thing. What is what is this thing called? What is it called? It is Brendelin Boathouse. Okay, it's on a 20 by 20 lot and it's on the Cal Calavere Cove area. And it costs about 87,000 simoleons on the gallery. So 87,926 simoleons in that range right there and I don't know why I didn't change it back to th one bedroom and three bathrooms you know on the gallery it will say one bedroom three bathrooms so don't you worry it's all good and common cool and collected anyway like I said before when I was doing this build I wanted to keep it for cats and dogs and base game only but then I thought wait a minute no I want to make this house well lived in so I wanted to add extra features so I started to use other packs like you know spa day fitness stuff it's random things that I wanted to use to make this house mine and also for my characters I want to involve because they have a they have a you know a little bit of history there you know a little bit of history in Brindlin Bay they've lived there all they, they lived in Brindlin Bay all their lives and so yeah mm -hmm. this house needed a lot of work and when it first got built like back in the day I, I don't know when it was a long time ago, but when Brindlin Bay was like first discovered and it was like these houses were starting to build up back in the, like the late 1900s or so, some houses were not there and some houses were there, but they were also very, very damaged. And so I guess when Calavera Cove, it was one of those like areas that were kind of along the coast, but it had a lot of, uh, you know, adventure type to it. Like, so, you know, 
in Calvary Cove in Brendan Bay, your the, where the house is, it's like it's near a pier or near like um a beach, and so it's like open water around. It's like you know the seagulls. There's boats over there, and so when they came over here they wanted to find something new and they found this one little house that was very very small at the time but they ended up they ended up starting to build on top of it to make it more bigger because they know they knew they were gonna have a family and so that's when um nate and nia's father came to be because i forget what the name was actually I forget um but yeah nate and nia's grandparents had a lot at least i only had one kid which was nate and nia's father but when, um, well, te technically, no, Nate's father, but Nia's stepfather, because what happened was, oh, wait, no, 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 that's wrong. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's say technically, no, it's her, it's her actual father, but, but Nia was adopted by, technically Nia was adopted from the very, very start where her mother adopted Nia from another family when she was very very young and still to this day she does not know who her real parents are but her adopted parents quote unquote who are her real parents you know you know you know adoption whatever died and so <laughs> that whole mischief happened and then after the fact when when they found out and still to this day Nia just, still does not know that she's adopted at all she's like oh mother father I love you Nate I love you so much you're my brother blah blah and so she has no idea <laughs> and i'm afraid when she finds out that she's adopted things might not turn out the way she seemed and uh things might get ugly and i'm not prepared for that because i still have not planned out on what she's gonna do because okay nia back when she was a, a young young small child she had a little bit of a temper and when she got angry or didn't get her way things just got ugly and she kind of ran away and <laughs> And it was a kind of heartbreaking back in, back when she kind of ran away. She would have found out some other secrets that I might tell later, but not now. But oh my gosh. Nia is one child that I do not want to ha handle at all. And so I think when she grew up and when her parents died, and it, I guess when all like the hurt and loss and from her dog dying and her parents dying and is not, not really having anyone in her life that she could really like, uh, depend on besides her brother Nate. I guess with all that hurt, she couldn't really figure out why and really figure out if she could really handle any more of that pain. And so I did. I, just, I didn't. I don't want her to find out. But if she finds out, then she finds out, and I don't know how she'll react to it. So you know, it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's fine. It's it's fine. But everyone else knows. Like everyone knows that she's adopted. Like you know, Nate knows. Savannah knows. But I don't think that Max knows that she's adopted, but even though, you know, it's fine. It's fine. But nevertheless, I'm I'm all happy. I'm all great. And things will hopefully work out in the end when they when when things calm down with, you know, Lorenzo and, you know, everything else and stuff like that. It's gonna come out, it's gonna play out very, very well. Hopefully well. But like I said, I don't know how everyone's gonna react with this entire news with Nate being with Nia being adopted and Lorenzo and the jailhouse and courthouse whatever it's it's so confusing and I don't know how I'm gonna tell it right but hopefully I will and things will turn out for the better or for worse but like I said you, you, you never know until you, you see it so for this house I had a little I had a backtrack a little bit but, but so like I said um whenever when um Nate and Nia's grandparents moved here they had this house started to build up on top of it first at the, at the time it was the only one level but when they started to build on top of it it became more of a bigger house so, you know they only had it was only three of them you know you know the, the mom and the dad and then had nate's father so there was only three of them in the house they had a dog and this is where the you know the dog plays comes into play with nate well it was nia loving this dog for so so long that they became best friends and blah 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 whatever and when when um before way before um nate's father met nia's quote-unquote mother was when because nia nia's mother was married before but got divorced but adopted nia when she was married to this one guy and so yeah uh, it's confusing but you know it will it's, it's fine so let's, let's okay nia's mother was married to another guy before when yeah, so Savannah, 
Savannah's Savannah was married to another person, but and when they were married, she adopted Nia from this other couple who couldn't really take care of their child, Nia. And so when things didn't work out with you know that one guy, they got divorced. So Savannah found this found Nate, and so they started dating and blah blah blah. Oh wait, hold up, that's that's no 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 no, that's wrong. Not Savannah or Nate at all. <laughs> Whoa. Um, yeah, so basically, Nate's father, Nate's father, um, met, um, Nate's current, you know, I don't know, whatever, I don't know what you could call it, it's, it's so confusing, and so complicated at the same time, it's so weird how all this is making no sense whatsoever, but you know, like I said, whenever I talk, I make no sense, and like, I, I, I just talk, and then words come out, and I'm like, wait, what did I just say, I have no idea what I just said. It sounded like an utter piece of crap. Like, I don't know what I just said. I need mental help. I've been watching uh, Teen Wolf for the past few weeks, and I'm already on, like, season four? Season four episode what? I think I'm on season four episode 11 on Amazon, on Amazon right now, and I'm a little bit obsessed with it right now. I've been sitting here on my computer for days, well not really technically for days, but you know how whenever you watch a series and you want to binge watch it, you watch it everywhere you go, and so I watch it at home for how long until I go to school, and then I take my phone with me, I watch it on my phone until I go back to, until I go back home to watch it some more. <laughs> this is what I do every single time, like with Orange and New Black, Riverdale, um, Teen Wolf, I don't know, Downtown Abbey, I don't know, just random movies and random TV shows that I watch on the daily it gets a little bit extra, and then I try to incorporate those story those storylines into my own like, personal stories for my Sims, and it makes no sense, but it makes sense to me, and I don't know. It's it comes out weird, but like I said, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I don't I don't know at all. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually gonna wrap up this video. Voice it right here so you guys can watch the screenshots. But anyway, I hope you guys very much enjoyed this video as much as I did. Let me think down in the comments below as always. Have you seen my cats and dogs let's play so far? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. I don't know. I'm still talking, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Whenever I talk, like again, when I talk, words come out and I have no idea what I just said. I have like, you know, five seconds. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye. Bye.